I don't know why Twitch chat isn't appearing properly today. We're cosplaying as snow today and listening to starting the stream by listening to the Celeste soundtrack. <laughs> Now, I don't know if we're going to beat uh, Norco today. I think we're going to get pretty far, but I don't know if we're going to beat it, you know? I guess there's one way to find out. <laughs> My cats are freaking out on the bed. What are you guys doing? What you doing? Hi. Janus is like trying to find something in the be in the blankets, but there's nothing there. <laughs> I wonder what it's like inside the mind of a kitty. I know what it's like in the smell of the fart of a kitty. Oh my god. Oh, that was a stinky one. Oh, oh that was stinky. Was that you, Robbie? He walked up right below me. Looked at me, gave me a look, and then walked away, and then it started smelling stinky. I think that was Robbie. My god, Robbie, what the hell? <laughs> god. Thanks for crop dusting me, buddy. Appreciate it. You're a stinky boy. Very stinky boy. Welcome in, Rabbity. I got crop dusted by my kitty. I'm suffering. I see you got the the first nice ah uh, hugs hugs all around. <laughs> what are you doing? He keeps like pouncing at one spot on my blanket, but there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's cause his little mouse toys. They have like little pellets inside them. Um, and my weighted blank, and so it makes sounds and rattling sounds when you uh, shake them. My weighted blanket has little like pellets as well. To, that's what how it gets weighted down. No, don't chew on that. Don't chew on that. No, no, no. Uh, 
Um, so maybe that's the reason why he goes crazy for it. <laughs> Maybe Janus will say hi to the camera today. Anyways, welcome in everybody. How are you guys doing? How are y'all doing? I just realized the bathroom door is open. So it looks like there's just a giant gaping hole. <laughs> I'm gonna close the bathroom door. One second. Stinky boys. Oh, I should be showing everyone you. Everyone say hi to Janus. I don't know if you said Janus has said hi before on camera, but he's a sweetie. Okay, you can go play. <laughs> hi, Teddy. How's it going? Excuse me, game capture. Game capture. Thank you. All right, uh, stop the music. Let's continue Norco. So when we last left off, shit was bad. <laughs> shit was bad. Um, all right, Eagle Wholesale Supplies. Doors are locked, the office is closed now, I guess. Looking at the galvanized steel door to the supply warehouse is half opened. Let's walk in there. Go on, get me my shiny stone. What are you waiting for? Okay, sounds good. Oh, if if you weren't here before, that that's the super duck. Don't mind them. <laughs> Don't mind the super duck. It's fine. It's over there. Steady beat of tra traffic lights the sky along the causeway. Biggest node in the network is inside this building. I'm a little lost. What's up? Don't know what the hell's going on. Super duck is what? Super duck. Yeah? What is it? Something like a virus. It infects things. Animals, trees, phones, whatever else. So what was that thing in the warehouse? A node in the network. There's a handful around the region. You use the app long enough, you get to know them. And the app is doing whatever the vi this virus wants you to do? I don't know. Just how I keep the lights on. Who is John? Thing in the warehouse mentioned to John. Kenner John. You don't know Kenner John? Never heard of him. Happy for you. He makes videos. They get shared all over the internet. I watched a couple. Religious stuff. You you religious? Turned away a, a, for a while, but the cancer brought me back. No doubt. John's a divisive figure among the faithful. Not the most orthodox preacher. Where do we find this stone? This the thing Super's looking for? Promenade wall, er, Mall in Kenner. That's what Super said anyhow. Alright, that's it. Cool. So, we head to Promenade Mall then? Let's get a ride. Promenade Mall! Drainage canal forms a moat around the parking lot, dividing it from the commercial neighbors. Hi, Beans! How's it going? Twitch crashed for me for a little bit, but I'm back, and I'm mostly doing well. Finished Season 3 of Magnus Archives and have started Season 4. Also, a cannulation appointment with a trans voice trainer with in a less than a week. That's awesome! Congratulations! I'm, I'm slowly getting all of my, uh, all my friends indoctrinated into Magnus Archives. It's amazing. Consultation. Okay, I was, I was, I don't know why I struggled to read that, but yeah, I can see how that's consultation. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing good. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're doing well, Beans. Um, yeah. All right. Drainage canal forms a moat around the parking lot, dividing it from commercial neighbors. Let's look at the mall. I used to come here all the time as a kid. Same. I knew it fell on hard times. Didn't know how hard. What about side lot? Single car sits in the parking lot. The subdivision at the mall's rear is beyond the lot. Alright, well, let's go in the mall. Hello. 
Two teens speak in whispers behind the gate. Each has a similar bowl cut, lacks shoes, and wears a blue colored shirt with a name tag that reads Garrett. How are you? I'm doing all right. Um, I've been a bit sleepy lately because uh, <laughs> work, work's been a lot lately, but that's okay. Um, so I've been a bit sleepy, but I'm doing okay. Older of the two, two eyes Catherine indifferently. Yeah, is the mall open? Been a long time since I've come by this mall. Is it still open? The two boys snicker. Not for you. I'm trying to get inside. Either of you gentlemen care to help us into this place? No one's gonna help you. You have to help yourself. Is this how you think you live your? Is this how you live your life? Walking around parking lots in the rain asking for help? More or less. <laughs> it's time you take responsibility for yourself. Lift. Become strong. Get a new fit. You look like you were wearing a bag. Watch your streak. Oh, that's... Heck yeah. That's awesome. I just saw... I didn't... I haven't seen that before. That's cool. Um... I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. The thing you just shared with me, Teddy. I'm also sleepy because I get like five to six hours of sleep. I hate insomnia. Sometimes four. Oof. I'm sorry. You look like you're wearing a bag. No more soft drinks. I hate soft drinks. Then don't drink them. You need to be initiated before we can even consider letting you in. Initiated how? Humorous. How many readings have you collected? Three. Bullshit. Then tell me how many days the arc took to complete. 20. Took, I don't know, 20 days? So you have no idea what's going on around here. Guilty. <laughs> you need to pull yourself together. I can help you, but first you need to help yourself. How? Sad. Sad. I hate these guys so much. Really sad. So listen, John's got an app, okay? You need to install it if you have any hope of making your way in here. Even once you're inside, you'll need the readings to visit the cathedral. Cathedral? The place where the divine object resides. Don't talk about that with Sibs, moron. What's the app called? What app? The one you just mentioned two seconds ago to get in the mall. Oh, John's K Kenner book. Or no, it's Kenner John's Apocryphon. That's it. Kenner John's Apocryphon. Install that shit. Catherine pulls out her phone. <laughs> Done. Congrats, you're on your way to being less of a fuck up. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Hi, how's it going, KC? Oh, hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay. I'm not even going to bother asking. Well, I guess we might as well ask where their parents are. I don't know. Maybe watching Jeopardy or some shit. Got some candy for us or something? Give me a ride to basketball practice. Glad we got this gate to protect us. How to use the app. How do I use that? It's an augmented reality you viewer. You've got to find John's sculptures around town. Sculptures? Virtual sculptures. You can only see them on your phone. There's three. Find the sculpture, scan it with phone, learn some shit. First is in Bruce's yard. Don't make it easy for her. And Bruce is, Gar is a Garrett now. Show some respect. Each one will give you a clue about the next. You're just giving this whole thing away. She will not collect them at all. Uh, um, all Garrett. No need to worry. Yeah, true. That last one's a nightmare. Listen, if you need help, go talk to friend. Who? Just open the Apocryphon app while standing in the parking lot in front of the mall. You'll see friend. That's with the name tags. You work here or... No. Both tags say Garrett. Do you both have the same name? No. Yes. Look, this is like some spiritual shit. We can't just tell you about it. We did it to Taunt Gooch. Dude, come on. She didn't even do the app thing yet. It's some spiritual shit. Just do the app thing and then you'll know the truth or whatever. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I'm ready to retire. <laughs> so true, buddy. Garrett seems rude, for real. Doing okay. I was homesick today because I felt like shit this morning. I'm pretty sure it's due to stress, but I'm because I'm feeling better now. Nice. I honestly need to take a break, but also I need to pay bills, so... Not taking a break. <laughs> it's fine. And then I have been snuggling the kitty for the last like hour or two hours. And so now my nose is all stuffy. I'm sorry if the audio is real bad because my nose is stuffy because I've been snuggling the kitty and I'm allergic to cats. So <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go to the parking lot. 
pull up the app. Gen Kenner John's Pocket Font. You are creepy looking. You have not collected this reading from Kenner John. I see. Hello. I am friend. What are you? I am friend. We need your help. Garrett said I to speak to you. We don't know where to find the first sculpture. The first reading of John, not far in a yard. Okay. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Um I guess we go this way. Potato chips. Holy shit. Half eaten bag of potato chips is, sits beneath the car. Amazing. My favorite. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, that's Keith. Who? Keith Brewster, guy I went to high school with. Where'd you go to high school? Destrin? Destrin's right down the street. Not so odd you'd see him here. In an abandoned parking lot in the rain in the middle of the night. Guess I've been on this app too long. Seems fine to me. Keith? Kate. All right, sister. I thought that was you. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm working. Me too. Working a case. Starting me a little news website. Where are you investigating? Tell me about this case you're working, Keith. I'm trying to get to the bottom of what's going on in this mall right here. Heard they got small boys coming in and out. Textbooks and adrenochrome harvesting facility. Guy who runs the operation looks at, about as much like a pervert as you can imagine. Kenner John? You got it. Man looks like a slug. What do you know about Kenner John? You know he's got his start posting in comments sections in New Orleans news and views. He'd go in there speaking he learned how to speak to God. Saying he learned to speak to God. Got himself attention that way. Before you know it, this gaggle of boys started following him around. Sick stuff. Guy's a sicko. <laughs> What's the website? Yeah. Ain't got a name yet. Still trying to come up with something cool. Keith's News Alert or something like that. I'm just trying to report on what's really happening he around here. I should keep moving, but maybe I'll come back later to see how the case is going? I'd like that, sister. Come pass by. Why don't I see you around so often these days? Staying busy. Mind me asking you something? Just a little... Just a thing I find myself wondering about. Sure. Don't mean this to be rude, but how come you treated Blue the way you did? One of the best men I ever knew. Why would you ask that? You kept his name. Figure it couldn't have been all bad. Just something I wonder. Well, wonder about something else. Hey, forget I asked. I'm too busy to be thinking about that right now. Then go be busy, Kate. Didn't mean to rattle you like that. Awesome. Great. Um. Heck you, Keith. Okay, so. Subdivision? Electronic device. Small plastic case device that lies in the grass. What's that thing? Had to guess I'd say it's a tracker. Don't know what it, use it is laying in the mud. Well, I'd imagine... Part of the statue? Yeah! First reading of, from the Apocryphon of Kenner John. Early years you spend inside, TV on, dad blaring the game. Says he keeps Christ in his heart, but it's a lie. Kenner is the only place on earth. Nowhere to go, no one to hang out with. Your flesh is alien, the house is a prison. The only escape is through fiber lines. Someone in the forum posts a flyer for a show. Somewhere to meet people, something to do, whatever. You borrow your dad's car and go. Step into Saint Somewheres and so you immediately know. These aren't your people, Garrett. You make a few jokes, someone calls you a Nazi. You throw the first punch, things spiral out of control. You're outside bleeding, pu pushing someone's face into a trash can full of go cups and beer bottles. The scum are screaming at you to stop, but you don't. Someone knocks you over in the head with a floor jack. You fall to the ground. They think you're dead. You're unconscious for 12 days. You wake up with a slouched mouth on your left side, determined to ruin someone's everyone's life. You watch the forums closer now. You call the cops on the next show, and the next show, and the next show. You get the place shut down for a while. You didn't let up. Good job. Fuck the scum. Wild? Okay. So Saint Somewhere? 
Ford, the SUV, yeah, yeah, yeah. Light pours in from the partially open garage door. Catherine crouches and peers beneath the garage door. Sports commentary blazes from the television in the far corner. She studies the space beyond the threshold. Compressor, ice chest, tackle boxes, stacks of cardboard, buckets of bolts, and welding scrap. To kitchen supplies, a butane stove, laundry baskets filled with cans of cat food, an old candle burned to its base and tipped on the floor. Stacks of disintegrating newspaper, a microphone stand, a collection of shadeless lamps lined against the wall as if awaiting a firing squad. Situating must the clutter, a man in red folding chair watches television, his back turned away. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to go inside, but fuck it. What are you doing? Just... Catherine steps in the garage. Wait here. Catherine regains her posture beyond the door. The man doesn't notice her. <laughs> this is incredibly stupid. Hey, how's it going? Oh my gosh, it has to, it's been a while, right, Pichu? Oh, and we've got the final froggy. Final froggy. Reginald the pink is his name, and he is light pink in color. Well, the problem is that um, we only have one froggy left. So... Reginald the pink is actually purple. <laughs> And that's the last froggy. <gasps> Hi, Ninetail, how's it going? <laughs> Let's see, what else? Did I miss anything else? I, oh, in my way. Oh, I was just, I was just reading so long. Hate that my school mid musical is during mid midterms week. My school has two midterms and two finals weeks. It's kind of weird. So that means that tech week is also during that, and it doesn't help with the amount of homework I'm being given. I'm so sorry. That's rough. Ah. Hug season two, Frunky the Frog. For real, for real. Okay. Um. Now I need to turn off the channel point redemption. Please do not redeem the frog. Create a frog. You will just get refunded. Where is Creative Frog? Creative Frog. Boop. Did you add my groggy? Hard to hear because volume is low. Oh, the volume is low? Why is the volume low? Oh, your volume specifically is low, not my volume. I see. I was worried I was quiet. Uh, yes. Yes. They have been added. Frog had to be light purple since, though, since it was only the color left. Yeah, there was only... It's the last froggy available. Um, yeah. Alright, it's definitely a stupid idea to speak. Hello? Man looks back and jumps in his chair. What in the... Catherine lifts both his hands, palms out. Sorry to startle you. Hell are you in my garage for? This is about Bruce, isn't it? Who? Bruce? That's right, Bruce, my son. He must be a journalist or something. A social worker? You probably know him as Garrett. Ever since he got himself mixed up with that internet freak, people like you've been coming by asking about him. But I keep saying the same thing. I don't talk to him. Can't even get him on the phone no more. We work together at the plant in Norco, but he voids he goes out of his way to avoid me. Of course he landed a computer job while I'm busting my ass with a torch all day. Won't even look his daddy in the eyes. My kid, she left. Never came back. It's hard. Hard, all right. Can't focus on nothing around here. Always waiting for him to call. Even started digging through all the, the these boxes, looking for the, the little stuffed monkey he'd carry around as a kid. Sounds just like my daughter. Figured I could give it to him as some kind of peace offering. What would you tell him if he ever came back? Hell, I don't know. Get some sense? Guess I'd say, I'd say, Bruce, you're my boy. This here is your home. Wouldn't turn you away for nothing. That cult shit, that Garrett shit, let it go. Just come back home. That's what I say. If you see him, if you see Bruce, will you tell him to that? Hell, you can even record it and hang it, hang on to it until you see him. He blocked my number. Can't take, it, get a word to him. I don't have anything to record with. Then come back when you do. I'll repeat it. I ain't got no shame left. Now go on, get out of my garage. Oh. <laughs> That poor guy. That poor dad. There are no more frogs available. They all exist now. Exactly. I got sick during work, but stayed at least 
I got seven. I might take off tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. Fair enough. Every single frog in the world is on Stra Robin's stream now. So true. So true. Every frog is being represented here. <laughs> Since my frog is purple, he is now for Reginald the Purple. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I hope you get feeling better, Ninetale. Hope you get feeling better. I like how everyone has been hugged nine times. <laughs> Okay, we gotta find- wait, we can talk to him. He's made me a little upset earlier. Still cool enough, maybe later. Okay, I guess not. That buddy of yours, guy I grew up, grew up around. Interesting fella. Uh, okay. So we need to go to this Saint something. Saint somewheres. Great. I'm assuming it's not going to work, but might as well try. Okay. Ugh, my stomach st still doesn't feel right. That hot dog finally catching up to you? <laughs> this past couple of hours has been the worst experience of my life. Why'd you let me eat that thing? <laughs> they seem fresh to me. He was a little gray, but otherwise it seemed fine. Yeah, that's what I thought too. After you left, my stomach started screaming. You know how hard it is to find a bathroom in the French Quarter? But you found one. That's good. No, I didn't find one. Oh no. And I, I, I can kind of, I can kind of relate. It's really hard to find an open bathroom in Portland. So, like downtown Portland is crazy. I am a nine tail. So true. So true. A singular nine tail. <laughs> I am a god of beans. Also true. So it makes sense that everyone gets nine hugs. Oh, you're right. You're right. So true. What did you do? Then what did you do? You don't want to know. You're right. <laughs> Probably right. I better keep moving. Have a good night. Does it sound to you like I'm having a good night? Just get out of here. Well, <laughs> I appreciate you buying that hot dog anyways. So that was the only way for us to get money. I love... Hello, frog. Hi! How's it going, Sumi? I love frogs, so they, they are so cute. This is very true. I'm the games master. Be afraid. So true. Small group gossips conspiratorially. The music spilling from inside drowns all but the vaguest details. A love triangle. Too much whiskey. Someone kicked into the in a wall in a fit of rage. No cover tonight. Just checking IDs. We're looking for sculpture. We're looking for one of Kenner John's sculptures. That ring about? Talk about a douche whose little gang keeps calling the cops on me? Presumably, yes. You don't, want to, you don't look like one of those mall Nazis. What's this about? I'm a mother of a carrot. My son recently got into this stuff. I'm concerned. My condolences. I'm a father myself. Would hate to see my kid get wrapped in this kind of thing. Anyhow, here's what I know. They got some game they play on their phone. They stick these devices around town like little like Easter eggs. They find the devices, scan them with their phones, something like that. Not sure of the details. They hit one right outside the bar, so we had the little mall Nazis come by, uh, coming by every night to find it. But then last night, Ditchman came and grabbed it. Ditchman? Who's Ditchman? He lives over by the mall. He's usually hanging around the ditches that feeding the ducks. I don't know the guy, but Bell vouches for him, so he must be all right. Sounds like we're heading back to the mall. Uh, what's happening tonight? It's a bounce night. Bounce night? Yeah. Crowd seems different than I'd expect. What are you looking at me for? Just, don't you agree? What, bunch of white kids shaking their ass to bounce, so I'm supposed to give a shit? I didn't mean anything by it. All I listen to is Christmas music. <laughs> Christmas music. That's it. That's the only thing I listen to. <laughs> How's, uh, I'm good. How's stream going? Stream's been going all right so far. It's been going good. Uh, I'm the rabbity frogs. Whether this is a group of rabbits or and frogs in trench coats or frogs that behave like rabbits or any other thing, it's unknown and, all, and will never be explained. Also, I am... No I am also Nora. Hell yeah. 
Welcome, Sumi. How are you doing? Found Frog today. After my mother informed me there was one in the garage, I named him Fred. Yo! Fred's such a good name for a frog. Such a good name for a frog. Seriously? Oh, don't even start. Over here having a bounce night with a bunch of ki white kids. So now it's a problem all of a sudden because all you listen to is Christmas music. Yeah, now it's a problem. That's right. Where are you from, Stinky? Minneapolis. Enough said. Christmas music. Just kind of creepy that's all you listen to. Creepy? I'm gonna listen to you about what's creepy? Whoa, 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 boys. Christmas music is cozy. Helps me relax. That's cool, man. That's fine. God damn. Damn. Uh, what does John's gang call the cops on you? Why does John's gang call the cops on you? So why does John's gang keep uh, keep calling the cops on you? I don't know. They're trying to get every show I book shut down. Maybe because they have nothing better to do? Why is Stitchman coming around here? This Stitchman lives all the way out in Kenner. What's he coming around here for? He buys stuff off Bell. What kind of stuff? Man glasses down to Catherine's shoes. Why do you care? Just looking for a way in the mall. I'll say this. Stitchman gets his stuff from here. He takes it to the mall. I think he's selling it to those little Nazis. Awesome. I guess that's all we can do here. Oh, what's this? St. Somewhere's once a modest neighborhood bar. It moved through a success succession of subcultural clientele over the past decade. First came squatters who took up residence in nearby homes damaged by hurricanes and simple neglect. The squatters attracted the punks, and the punks brought the hipsters and so on. And now it exists it now exists as in a subcultural estuary, only one change of ownership away from being an upscale wine bar. Okay. Let's get a drink some other time. Sounds like we're look, look, <clears throat> what we're looking for is in Kenner now. Guess we're heading back to the mall. Alright, well, I guess we're heading back. We're spending so much money. I guess we have 66. So much money. Oh, there it is. Well, we can just scan that real quick. Second reading from Apocrypha... Apocrypha... Apocryphon. There we go. <laughs> Wait, okay, let's see. I haven't seen many frogs around where I live. I found, like, one toad, though. I've never actually seen a frog in the wild. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've seen a frog in the wild. Um, trying to think. You know, I probably have, but I just can't think of it. I just, they just, I don't see them very often, at least. So, I want I want to see more frogs. <laughs> you know, my dog has come in the room to say hello to everyone. Hello, Sumi's dog. Once I raid tadpoles into bullfrogs, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I was shocked to see a frog. It's a bit colder outside, but I found a quite li quite little fella known as Fred now. Oh, that's cute. She did a little wolf. <gasps> Yo, I feel famous people are talking to me. I got 2k views on a short. I feel famous. Amazing. That's awesome. Proud of you. <laughs> I've seen some when I've gone to visit North Carolina. It was a little tree frog. I've also seen a lot of toads. Nice. I live where it's kind of rainy and we have a few lakes and ponds in my area. I live in Portland, so I will probably see a frog in the wild at some point. Um, but I don't, I don't see him very frequently. I, I haven't seen one. I don't know. It's also wintry right now, so yeah. Leave the hospital and discover faith, that immaterial essence. Pray, Garrett. Pray in the closets during the football games. Post prayers to the sh fo show forums just to fuck with the scum. That's how the Garretts find you. One's named Garrett, so they're all named Garrett. Some kind of joke. Doesn't matter. You are Garrett too. 29 Garretts and all. Garrett worked in the basement below the council chambers. Said he had a closet full of old computers. Garrett plugged one in, used it as a server. That's how Garrett hosted sermons in the sky. He projected videos of a guy he found online. Said he grew up in Kenner just like Garrett. 
Garrett began watching him too and told the other Garretts to subscribe. Soon all the Garretts were watching Kenner John. John summoned his flock to the Ziggurat to Promenade Mall and taught them about Christ's hidden nature and the other secrets of faith. He spoke. Hi! Who the fuck are you? He spoke of these things on the server beneath the council he did above the concrete. What do you think of Johnny? Don't you just hate him? A real fuck, isn't he? Can I help you? Catherine, dear, it is I who will be helping you this night. I knew you'd come to see me. Waiting in the ditches, waiting. No trouble there, child. Happy to do it. You need to access you need access to them all. Here I am, delighted to assist. Man eyes the ring hanging from Catherine's neck. And you even wear the stone of Magdalene, just as she herself wore it. You're the image of her beauty. You. Why are you here? We were neighbors once upon a time. Don't you remember? I've only come to help, as neighbors do. Catherine shakes her head. What is this? It's my responsibility to guide you and to watch over the children. I've been to see Kay. She is well. Excuse me? Can you tell me what this is about? It's about the boat. A boat you can get. Uh, that can get you into the mall. The Garretts, they favor me over John, that little shrimp. That little sad boy. I'll be your guide into the mall. The sanctum of Garretts. I... Catherine turns to Dallas. This man, I think he's been following me. To help you. To help. I've always watched over you. But Blue, a good man, they say. An asshole. He wouldn't let your papa near you. Well, here I am. I came to tell you. You needn't worry about Kay. Keep her name out of your mouth. Because she'll be home. Perhaps too late for you. Dying, they say. From becoming the to be from becoming to being the philosophers say, where did you see my daughter? Walking through California like a regalo, Galilee, her robes frayed, splendid, divine, a child of Christ. No, not getting in a ditch with this guy. Fuck no. There's no one else in this place to help you. Do you see anyone else? Anyone who will help? I don't want your help. I I don't want to be anywhere near you. Stay away from me and from my family. Are we clear? I have all the time in the world, Catherine, but you, dear, you do not. I am not here to frighten you, to harm you. Quite the opposite. Without my help, there will be no getting into this mall. Patience is a virtue of your papa. I am your only way in. Dallas leads Catherine from the canal. Let's go find the slap sculpture. We don't need his help. I know him. Old man smiles and gives an enthusiastic wave as Dallas glances back towards the ditch. Sounds like a stalker. I just don't know. Seems like this parking lot is full of strange men who know your name. Am I missing something here? What, do you think I invited them? I don't know, maybe. I'm just as confused as you are. Okay, let's see. Wait, who? I want a pet frog, but one, I'm scared my dog will eat it, and two, I don't have anywhere to put it. My mo mom sa says, my mom says they smell and are too noisy. Um... It depends on what type of frog you get. I don't... They typically don't really smell. Um, and they're typically not too noisy. But the... The dog thing is kind of a worry. But if you get a good enclosure, then they should be fine. Basically, you just need to do your research. And you'll figure it out. You're not supposed to, like, you know, pick them out and handle them too much anyways. So, yeah. The nearest body of water to me is a reservoir in the mountains. It's also dry as hell where I live, especially during the summer. I live right by the Columbia River, so cannot... Re well, I guess I used to be able to relate, because I used to live in Salt Lake City, which is very dry. <laughs> I don't know where the nearest body of water is, but also I don't go anywhere but school. Fair enough. The nearest to me is probably the river that separates Canada and the part of my state I live in. Fair enough. I believe we have a smaller lake a few miles down road for my school. Nice. There are a lot of kids who love fishing, so I'm sure they know. They're kind of loud and bully me, but they are kind of ugly. <laughs> I only know that we have a reservoir because I'm up there all the time during the summer, despite me always getting sunburnt, despite having sunscreen on. That is me to a T. Anytime, I swear, anytime I go to a beach, I get sunburnt so badly. <laughs> like, um... Like, I'll get, like, blisters and stuff, and it's real bad. I get so badly sunburned. 
I won't be able to stay a whole stream. We'll probably go in about 10 minutes. All right, cool. Thank you so much for stopping by as long as you have, though. Okay. Shall we pull back up the app? Okay. Da -da -da. Wait, he spoke of what? Uh, basement below the council chambers. Said they had a closet full of computers. Spoke of the things on the server beneath the council chambers as he did above the concrete in the New Arling sky. Okay. All right, we'll see you, buddy. <laughs> um, sun will be up by the time this is through. How do you feel about Papa? How do you feel about this Papa character? Probably about how you expect, like he's bullshit. Where's he pulling all this nonsense from? I don't know. I seem to attract these people. Thought you might have be the type. This is conjecture, but my father, love him, he wasn't the most honest man to come out of Crevasse, Louisiana. He used to spin up all kinds of tall tales about our family's history. Had more than a few lost souls believing him. Figure this guy's part of the part part of old man Pete's living legacy. Alright. So all this stuff about the necklace. Not even getting into it. Hey, I get it. How do we get in the mall? We're supposed to get in the mall in, in Kenner. Get the stone and bring it back to Super Duck. But entrance is locked. Were you listening to anything, kids, at the entrance? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Let's, let's find, let's talk to this friend. Wait. Is there a new location? No, that's the same. Okay. Let's talk to friend. Hello, friend. I am friend. We need your help. Garrett said to speak to you. I don't understand the readings. The last reading has me stumped. Discovering the third reading of John is most challenging. I will not. I could not help Gooch. From the second reading of John, John spoke of these things on the server beneath the council chambers as he did above the concrete in the New Orleans sky. Basement sky. Council chambers. He's talking about City Hall. That's downtown. Basement beneath City Hall. Sky above City Hall. Yes. I see. Well, thank you for giving me the answer. Because <laughs> there's no way I would have gotten that. <laughs> All right. Wait, let's see. I have a pool, so technically the closest body of water. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think I read that, but I didn't process that before. That's, that's great. I'm used to sunburns. It is hot as hell during the summer. For real. Pain of being pale as fuck. I look like a vampire. Same vampire buddies. <laughs> it's currently 10, 10 p.m., so I'll probably stay till 10, 30. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm not pale or dark. I'm just in the middle, but when I get sunburned on my shoulders or legs, it's noticeable. Oof. Oof. That's rough. It's so bad I can't even wear my normal hoodie and long sleeve attire. Ugh. Death flesh, a type of costume make makeup meant to make you look well dead, is literally my perfect match for foundation, and it's terrifying. <laughs> foundation scares me, but eyeliner is no big deal for me. Fair enough. Okay, let's go downtown. It's so expansive. Okay. Let's see. Not the clinic, was it? No, we don't want to go in here. We don't want to go in here. We don't want to go on Perdido Street. City Hall. Guard greets Catherine at the door. Welcome to New Orleans City Hall. No council se sessions in the beginning. But this evening, the building's closed. Garrett sent us. Guard looks Dallas up and down. Nah. We're here because of Kenner John. I've let a lot of people pass through in the evenings, wanting to take a picture from the roof or whatever the hell. None of them look like you two, following my gut here. Does City know about this? So the City just lets these Garrets come in and out after hours? I do what I'm told. You looking for a reason? Go somewhere else. We're serious. We're training to be Garrets. Why? Uh... I want to paint my nails and put my grade as homophobic. Oof. Dearest frog, you need water. This is true. Thank you so much for the water. I'm in theater and also I also just enjoy makeup, so I'm fine with the majority of different makeup supplies. Fair enough. I don't really like makeup, okay? I know it's kind of weird, but I just don't really... I don't like things being on my face. Just vibing on my face. I don't like face paint either. 
Thank you for that. Hydrate, Sumi? Yeah, I just don't like things vibing on my face. I hate it. <laughs> uh, we need to get inside the mall. We're trying to get inside Promenade Mall. That place is boarded up for years. Not anymore. The guards took it over. Guard shakes his head. This whole city's lost its mind. Listen, there's some funny stuff that happens in the building at night. If you're thinking you could just walk up to the roof, it's not like that. Be careful getting around. One of the generators went dead. The elevator is out, and so are the stairwell lights. Catherine enters the building. Well, that was easy. My entire school knows I'm gay. It's very obvious if you couldn't tell by my neon pink slash red hair and how I dress. Half of one of my classes thinks I'm gay and it's a pain. Used to think I was gay and told one friend. Oof. Half the time I forget about my eyeliner and almost wipe it all over my face. Oof. My great time somehow knows I'm pansexual and just, ah, oof. I'm sorry. Well, I guess not. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ahead is an elevator corridor with stairwell. Long unmarked hallway extends to her left. The exit is to her back. Um, I suppose the elevators. Catherine en enters the elevator corridor. The floor displays the above elevator reads dash 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 stairwell is ahead all right to the stairwell and just pitch black stairwell this is a bad idea floor two let's keep going floor three keep going floor four keep going floor five keep going floor six we're just enjoying let's feel around after some fumbling in the dark, Catherine discovers a doorknob. Open it. Catherine enters an unlit office. She tries the light. No power. Window looks beyond P Duncan Pete's plaza towards the French Quarter. Okay, I guess we just keep going back up. Uh, let's go up. Let's keep going. Floor 10. This is killing me. An exit sign casts over an obscure red glow over the area. Our head is a steel door with panic bars. Mounted at the wall beside it is a magnetic card reader. That must lead to the roof. Of course. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> like I'm the only gay kid in class. That's my role. It's, that's my role to be gay, not theirs. Oof. The homophobic straight bo boy are always way gayer than any of the actual queers. <laughs> the homophobic boys are more gay than I am. Oof. Half the time I forget about my eyeliner. Oh yeah, you already said that. I already read that. Checks nothing of interest in the dark. All right, well. I'm sorry, Catherine. Just made them... Nope. Yeah, just made them... Walk ten flights of stairs... And then walk back down. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we go down. Fading fluorescent bulb strode in the hallway to your left. Stairwells to your back. Let's go. Oh, because they said basement of the thing. I see. Catherine turns the corner and immediately meets the stare of a man squatted in the ground in the shutter of the hallway. Wouldn't stick around too long. Why? What's that supposed to mean? Man's demeanor remains unchanged. He removes a receipt from his shirt pocket with a note scribble on the back. He begins to read. On the seventh floor is a planner, but if you don't listen closely to the following, you'll hide. In the darkness are hands you must shake. So in the order I say, any missteps and the elevator will clear the mistake. First number in our sequence is the floor above the council sh chambers. Third most distant from the sky. Okay. Oh, we have to go up so many stairs. All right. I'm sorry, Catherine. Make you go all the way up, up, up the building and we're going to go back up and down. Okay. Okay, so third from the top. So that's floor seven. There are 11 floors, one should count the basement. Our second number is that which makes an even divide. 
What? Two? I think two, because two is what makes an even divide. Third is just above above it, fifth from the sky. Oh wait, no 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 no. It's I it's uh there's eleven if you include the basement. And so it's like right in the middle is what they're saying. So So fifth sixth from the top. So floor four? Third is just is just above it, fifth from the sky. So that's floor five. Okay. Seven four five. Let's go to seven four five. Hands the receipt to the Catherine. If you need help, friend is outside the building. You open the app and he'll be there. Good luck! Alright, let's go. Go upstairs. All right, uh, here we go, up to floor seven. <laughs> Enter door. On the office window looks beyond Duncan Positor at the French Quarter. Leave. Now we go down to four. Catherine gropes in the sightless dark. She feels this distinct touch of another's hand. Startled, she gasps with drawing her own. What is it? Someone is in here. Dallas speaks into the darkness. Hello? Stairwell is silent for the decaying echo of his voice. Reached out her hand. Reaches her hand towards the dark, and an unseen grasp it and firmly shakes. All right, let's go. Go up to five now. And dark and unseen hand grasps it firmly and shakes. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I'm missing so much chat. Ooh. Uh, I'm sorry. I might not read all of chat. Uh, a few homophobic bullies in my class is that if you get take a quick glance at them, you can tell they are super straight. Icky. Icky. A basic white girl in my class and nobody likes and she dead ass looks like a mega mind but she's dumb <laughs> Oof. <laughs> one of the homophobic boys in my school purposely dead me i will uh half of the class was about to murder him like all my friends are glaring dagger daggers at him good that's good it's called a dead name for a reason and they were about to get an example of what that reason is <laughs> This bitch over here was like, why do you wear that? Why is there a forehead like that? <laughs> I don't know how to do math, but like any two numbers that aren't weren't adding up. I can math a little too well and all my friends ask me for answers, but I have social anxiety and I don't like talking that much out loud. So I just hand them my paper. Fair enough. For real though, I need good fr friends who are actually good at math. Yes, I've got like one. Well, yeah, no, it's three. Nah, I got 6.567. Literally, though, that's what it feels like going into math class. Okay, I guess now we go to s floor seven. And your door. Okay, I guess not. Didn't they say third from third from the sky? Maybe we go up to eight. Reach a hand. Okay, eight. Four. Five. That's three handshakes and nothing's happened. I think we got it wrong. Damn it! 
<laughs> the elevator button, try again. Guy in the basement said, friend, right outside, if we need help. Ah, let's return the ground level. No, no, not go down. What was, what was the first number? I thought it was seven, but it clearly, it can't be seven. They said third from the sky. Hello, could I get the hint again? Okay, we'll go back to friend. Hi friend, I'm stupid. Done in there? Not yet. Don't come in and out too much, people might notice. I just need to ask a friend. I am friend, we need your help. Little, yes it said. The floor above the council chambers. Council chambers down the first floor, oh. It's two. Excuse me, Can, excuse me, okay. I, okay, I, I thought I broke it for a second. Yep. Like I said, be careful. Generators down. Get weird at night. All right. I thought it was like 37 or something. It's tw Wait, what? Damn well, like the mod. No. I know damn well the mitochondria is the power of cell, but I don't know 8 times 3. 24. Wait, it's 24? <laughs> oh, thank you for the stretch. Ugh. Big stretch. Ugh. Wait. Like we're finding a missing side in my geometry class. I use Pythagorean theorem. Uh, one of my friends used it, and, but didn't use a variation. So the, the hypotenuse of triangle and was like 14 and he got a missing side as 28,136. Yeah, I don't know if that one's quite right. I think they forgot to square root it. I am the, that friend who's good at math for some reason. I, I've got, I'm collecting all the queer people that are good at math, All few, the very few of them. You're all getting collected here. I've always been really good at school, mainly because I pressure myself to always get A's. Hell yeah. I thought it was like 37 or something. <laughs> Hefty stretch, so true. Okay. All right, to the elevators. To the stairwell. Go up one. Reach out hand. Go up. Go up. Reach out hand. Go up. Reach out hand. That wasn't it. What? What? This is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. All right. What's the even divide? Not yet. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I need help. I'm stupid. 11 floors that includes one basement. Only one makes an even divide. 10 floors. One, only one makes an even divide. 11 floors. One in the middle. Five on each side. That's... Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the follow floor and stories. How are you doing? Froggy hug? Yo, froggy hug, here you go. Tight little froggy hug. I don't, I think gay people are good at science. True, yeah, we're good at science. We're good at English. Well, a lot of us are, I'm not good at English. Um, but we're not good at math, typically. <laughs> I'm Gucci, Will, uh, Will says hello. Hello! Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm not collected. I right, fair enough. <laughs> Probably head outside, uh, out because I've got an essay online to write and have little instructions on. Oof, you got this. I believe in you, Casey. I'm sorry, I only saw that just now. I might have missed you, but best of luck. I didn't know how to spell to believe till sixth grade. <laughs> I think when I when I was in the sixth grade. I did a spelling bee, and I was supposed to sell, spell what, and I misspelled it, because I got anxious. Okay, so wait, no, 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 that means that I didn't get that number wrong. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> they said to don't keep coming. Doesn't sound like an elevator's coming. Guard said it generates power down. Let's keep moving. Okay. Let's go up. Reach our hand. Go up. Go up. Reach out hand. Because if there's five more than four. Yeah, that's split evenly in the middle. No, it's not four. It's, it's five. It's five. No, but then the last one can't be five. It's right above it. It's right above it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's reset it. Okay. Go up. Reach out hand. Go up. Go up. Go up. Reach out hand. Go up. Reach out hand. Begins to pull Catherine slowly towards the floor. She grabs Dallas, attempting to resist. Catherine! It's... The hand jerks her violently to the floor. Dallas attempts to intercept the figure in the dark, but only meets the wall. Party time indeed. We figured it out! We figured it out! I'm stupid, but I figured it out! Sometimes I spell what... So true, so true. But I just want to pop in and say hello. Gotta get back to turning cardboard sideways. Hell yeah! Turn that cardboard sideways. Turn it so sideways. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, I suck at English, uh, but God tier at reading. Hell yeah. It was like 10th grade level reading in third, third or fourth grade. Uh, I spell most of the time, but I think I'm just slightly dyslexic because every dyslexia test I've taken, I've got an exact minimum or one extra failed question. Same, I also don't understand. I could read high school level in first grade, but now I can't read without stuttering. Literally same, especially reading out loud. I can't read out loud with shit. And then that's like all I do when I stream. I always play these games where I have to read the entire time. I mean, I love, I love these games, but I... <laughs> I need to be better about reading out loud, you know? Same except I could never read out loud. <laughs> hey! He slaps the wall. Tell me who the fuck is there! His trail of... His echo trails off into the extremities of the stairwell. As Catherine looks up from the ground, the light switches high, on high above them. Dallas, help me, please. Up, oh, please. Dallas recovers Catherine from the floor as she hangs her arm over his shoulder. You're not in any kind of condition to be doing this shit. I know it. I see a light. She gestures weakly. Up there. I'll carry you. No, it's fine. Let's just go find this planner. Get to the roof. Take what, whatever, whatever it takes to be done here. All right. <laughs> We've climbed up so many. Wait, there's a person there. Office is closed. Working late. No later than usual. We're drafting a new master plan. Nods and leans against the jam of the jar. It's been an ordeal. You may have seen it about it in the news. The antagonism of the, in this city. My god, everyone wants something different. Planner looks away from Catherine. Keep listening. I'm the one they hate the most. The other planners are more interesting. Younger. They're passionate about their work. I'm old now. I watched them bulldoze with the projects. I wanted it. Wanted them gone. You don't know what the wrong decision is until you make it. The road splits and you have to keep going. The highways, they have to go somewhere. The houses, they're going to flood sometime. As he speaks, he crouches into himself in an odd and anxious way. And no one wants to relocate, but the stubbornness of nature is unmatched. It drives the rest. It ends In the end, it drives our decisions. What forces them? Uh, it forces them, you see? Oh. Forces them? The ocean will have its way with us. There will be no more fussing about it. The floods are coming. Unimaginable floods that will dwarf any we've seen. Our decisions will be made for us when the waters rise. Some will confront these decisions before others. This creates an imbalance. It creates the conditions for conflict. When we plan, we don't plan for a community. We plan for the city at war with itself. We decide the winners and the losers, and the stakes grow higher. And the losers, they're going to hate us. 
He returns his gaze across his shoulder and meets Catherine's eyes before looking away final time. Gives me a fucking ulcer. Trying to get to the roof. I think I could get access to the roof. Turns his chair. See, do you have any chance you could help? You don't look like the others. I'll say that. Excuse me? Where's your shirt? The planner dismisses Catherine with a wave, uh, with a hand wave and points towards the coat rack near the door. Key cards hanging on the rack. He returns to his original posture facing the window. Catherine grabs the key card. All right. Let's go up. And right click over the head. Seal door with panic bars. Try the door. Scans ID. Exit to roof. Steps through the door. The cool winter air above City Hall. Need to sit for a moment. Of course. Dallas gestures to a nearby AC unit. Let's sit. And that's it for Act 2, I'm assuming. <laughs> Oof. So pretty. Getting too old for this. Okay, let me read chat for a bit. Uh, I refuse to read out loud in class. I had to tell... I In high school, I asked my teacher specifically. I said that it was dyslexia. I don't know if I have dyslexia, but I was just like, I cannot read out loud in class, please. I have a stutter, um, and so I it was just really embarrassing as well to read out loud in class, so I was like, I just can't. I just can't. I also don't speak unless I'm next to my teachers. I barely have the courage to do that. I speak when my mind is not... I speak my mind when I'm not around teachers, but when there's a teacher around, you won't catch me speaking. I had a panic attack when I had to present in front of the class, and then I got an F on the presentation, even though the rough draft and final essays were 100%. If I had a choice, you could not pay me to speak in front of more than two people unless you are Elon Musk giving you your entire net worth. Called a kid who is racist, homophobic, and straight up rude to a little homophobic racist bitch. Hell yeah, we loved, you love to see it. You love to hear it. <laughs> Running around like this on the 40, my 49th birthday. What a life. Birthday? Today's your birthday? Today's my birthday. <laughs> At least it's memorable. No question there. You all right? I'm fine. Just need to breathe for a minute. That was strange. Can never be normal with Super. Always got to, got to be some shit like that. So why you keep doing it? I don't know. Dallas lifts his hand in resignation. There's not much else, really. Not anymore. What would you rather be doing? If you could. What I'd like to do is be home with my daughter and my grandchild. Where's home? Holly Grove, right next to the canal. They started staying with me a few months back. They liven up the place. Kids do that. Got any? Son and a daughter, two years apart. Still at home? My younger one, I can't get him out of the house. But my daughter, she doesn't want anything to do with me. Thought maybe when I was diagnosed she'd come around, but she never did. Catherine looks towards the westbound traffic. No, she never did. <laughs> hurts to be dropped like that. Sometimes it hurts worse the more time passes. I just know I won't see her before I die, and that, it does. It does hurt. It hurts, and then you die. And th the two of them laugh. It's not all that bad. Just hope there's something on the other side. There is. I know there is. There, the ones I hurt and left behind, I'll see them there. I'll get to apologize. Amen. But let me ask you the same question you asked me. Why keep doing this? Not a lot of runners our age. Long story, this is my first time on the app, but things have been interesting for a while now. I, s I tried to have a straight up job one once upon a time, but that didn't last too long. Yeah, why not? Let's just say I lied on my resume. <laughs> Nearly everyone you meet has a story like that in this kind of line of work. Nothing special about me then. I wouldn't say that. The old man in the ditch thinks you're special. Let him think it. So you figure that this last sculpture is around here somewhere? Probably right there. Said something about it being in the sky. Right there. I mean, it's right there, right? Oh, we gotta look straight up. <laughs> and then...
Third reading from the Apocryphon of Kenner John. New Orleans is the pit and Garrett's stuck in it. New Orleans is the lowest world. A messenger visits John, tells him about the how about the early faithful now living in the cavities of the Martian moons. Tells him there's a way to commune with them through the Adamic language of angels and spellcasters and others who know God's mind. There's a kiss, chrism, a fluid that John must imbibe. It's an egg. It, it's in an egg that floats in the sky. John is blessed with a plan to escape the low world's reach. The Garrets must build a spacefaring ark, a vessel with which to leave this earth. Having imbibed this chrism, John may ascend beyond the distortion of the low world and listen to the twilight language. Two Garrets work together at Stenny's. John appoints them to oversee the task. They soon find the other engineers sympathetic to their plan. The Garrett labor for 844 days, and in that time, the ark is complete. All that remains is the egg which holds the chrism to God, know God's mind. So that's it. We all found, we found all three. Let's go ask the kids in the mall. All right. Well, off we go. Let's go join a cult. Wait. I also kicked his ass and didn't get in trouble. Hell yeah. I have severe anxiety and like 99% sure depression, but not legally diagnosed and ADHD. So when I'm alone with my thoughts too long, I'll have a meltdown and I want to sleep, but I also don't want to have a meltdown. And your streams are swag, so I don't know if I should stay or not. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, if I get left alone with my thoughts after a bad day, I'll typically try to... Uh, SH. Oh, I see. I oddly feel better and relax like an odd addiction. Hey, y'all. Um. Um. Make sure to take care of yourselves and, uh, it's really important to. Yeah, I don't know. Um, to take care of yourselves mentally and stuff. Um. And just know that, like, even if you're feeling, even if you're feeling like, you know, there's, I don't know. I just, sorry for making chat depressing. It's okay. It's, it, it, it's okay. I just want you all to know that you are all, we, I care about you guys. Um, I, 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 like, I love this community so much because I care so much about you guys. You guys are really cool and I think that I've got an awesome group of people that follow me. That includes you. You right there. You're included in that. So, um, yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. I just... I don't know. <laughs> kind of struggle with words sometimes. Yeah, sorry too. No, it's okay. You guys are okay. You guys are fine. Um, but I just want you guys to know that, like, you're loved. Um, even if I don't know you personally. Um, even if, uh, you know, we haven't, you haven't been in chat for super long. Um, uh, you're all loved. And I appreciate you all so much. Yeah. Froggy hug? Yeah, you. Big hug for you guys. Big tight hug. And you're not alone. That's another thing to know. You, you're not alone. I, I, I mean, I can only do so much through the internet. But um, whatever I can do to help, I absolutely want to do to help. Um, and there's a lot of awesome people in this community who uh, are also f feel very similarly. So um, yeah, it's important to know that you're not alone and there's support. Um, there's support for you. Um, yeah. Also therapy is very good. Okay. I recommend it. Therapy is very helpful. Getting, you know what is underrated as well? Getting water, getting plenty of sleep, the right amount of sleep. Both of those are very good for you. You should do those things. All right. 
So, and eating, eating as well. Not too much, not way too much. Um, you make yourself sick, but eating is important. Uh, make yourself feel good. A good amount of e eating, do that. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry, y'all. Y'all are so sweet. I mean, you're included in that. You're awesome. You're an amazing part of the community, and we're, the community is better for you being in it. So, yeah. Um. Also, there is not to just self-promo after all that, but there is a Discord. Um, the Discord is a great place to hang out. Um, there's some... There's some good places to chat in there. Uh, we try to keep things a bit more pretty positive around here, I will say. Uh, but if you do get in a dark place where you feel like you need someone, say <laughs> shameless self promo, shake my head. <laughs> yep, shameless self promo. <laughs> Join the Discord, or else, or else. Um, yeah, if if you need help, um, there's definitely good places to do that. Uh, to do that and stuff but if you want some positivity if you want to see some cute toe beans cat toe beans and stuff um do that also also as for, on the topic of mental health like one of my favorite things about the discord is the small victories channel where we just post like things we're happy about and things that just like aren't big things you know uh aren't like major oh my life is completely turning around for the better it's like, which is awesome, you know, we're like, I won the Nobel Pre Peace Prize. Like, good for you. Post that in general chat. I want to know if one of my chat members, if one of you guys got the Nobel Peace Prize, post that in general. I want to hear about that. Um, not saying that I'm not hearing it from the small victories, but what I'm saying is the small victories is a great place to post uh, small little victories that happen and stuff. And it's really great for like getting a better, like, you know, Focusing more on, like, the small good things that happen in life, you know? Anyways, um, I think I would show you guys my cats, uh, but they are probably asleep, so I don't want to bother them. But if they show up, I'll, I'll let you guys see the cats. Anyways, let's get back to the mall. Um, get back to Norco. <laughs> Text message received. From who? Super Duck Catherine. We will send an advance to your wallet in order for you to complete your mission, but please do not waste our time. <laughs> Listen. I... Is it because I spent so much money <laughs> on ga uh, getting back and forth? I tried. Okay. Let's go over here. Where did they go? Those two little shits, where did they go? Hell. Why do we just waste our time? We have to get in, there, in here. Only option... Only one option comes to mind. Creep in the ditch? Right, so that night, this night, I hate it. No ditch man, no scum. What's that? The scale model is encased in glass. Black art uh, at its base reads arc. What do you think that is? Hard to say. Almost looks like an oil rig or a spaceship. Probably their space arc that they're working on. Some kind of recruitment video plays on the monitor above the entrance. Imagery flashes across the screen, punctuated by text. Three geometric shapes. Find all three. Name tag that reads Garrett pinned onto a crayon blue shirt. Earned the badge. A tower circling scaffolding. Find salvation in the stars. Is friend here? Okay, friend is not here. All right, <sighs> what's up, Papa? Kind of figured we would have to talk to you anyways. We, we need your boat. Oh, his face is pure glee. How wonderful, a boat ride into John's fucking skull. We'll live inside it. Calm down, keep your distance, lower your voice. We need the boat, not you. The mall, the mall, John's skull, John's skull. The boat is just a little further down the canal. Let us go and visit the sanctum of the Garrets. I love cats. My name on Discord is Jackson, if you're wondering. 
I'm still Sumi though. All right, cool. You can also change your nickname if you would like it to match with your Discord nickname, but you don't have to. There's no pressure. I want to hopefully get into MIT, although extremely unlikely. But if I do, I'll definitely put it in hashtag general. Do it! Oh my god, that would be so cool. I'm Bun Bun. Yeah. Heck yeah. Whoop. Oh, did I miss something? Also, wait. You look a lot. You look a lot like that old man. Okay, so now we know it's Ditch Man. who is also Papa. Okay. I made it, Jackson Sumi. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, welcome in. Happy to have you in there. <laughs> Don't wait, bro, Cupcake. Don't bite. Cupcake's a big boy. I love him. I trust it. I'm sure Cupcake wouldn't bite. All right. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Now that we're in, let's take a look at what Lucky got. Man, the man crouches down, opens his backpack, and reveals two grenades. Got these guy from a guy at the burger place. Lucky done played with bigger grenades than this. These more like little toys. As loud as it seems around, uh, as it is around here, they ain't likely to make much of a ruckus. We get into any more scuffles, they might be handy. But we best be choosy. Only got us these two. He zips his backpack, tips his hat, and smiles. There'll be no use against St. Clair models that guard Good Hope Plantation. Well, sure, them guards are not your average type. You'll need to find some other way to get rid of them. What do you suggest? Like I say, there's a big bastard hanging from the railroad crane over there. A freight mover, a robot just like you. Might be, on, might be your pa partner. Let's go talk to it. A mover has no agency. How do you know? Thought you weren't wasn't a Saint Clair. You come up with something better. Lucky is all ears. Till then, he go with his gut. Lucky done got help from all kinds of robots. Pronoun check. Yeah, everyone, drop your pronouns in the chat. I use they them pronouns, and neo pronouns if you ask politely beforehand. Okay, so we can go to the platform. This is workers. Two men watch the monitor display above the freight elevator. So what is this? They're making they making us go to space now? Imagine the overtime you'd get, bruh. Not to mention hazard pay. Shit, wish it. I could be like one of the old timers and retire in workman's comp. Careful what you wish for. You know them old guys just play it up for the news. They bump their heads trying to shoo and get paid vacation. Give me a break. You knew any of the ones that died in the blast? Yeah, I knew a couple. Blue, Wiki, good guys. Wiki weren't on the plant two weeks. This work, no joke, bruh. Someone gotta do it. People wanna drive around, eat their microwave dinners, all that shit. That don't come free. Someone's gotta make it. Just hope it ain't us next time. Keep your eyes and ears open. The one, the ones that get hurt ain't paying attention. Any preference, he, they, but I, I don't really care. She, they, he. Hell yeah. You love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> Good Hope Plantation. That the headquarters right that way. I'm guessing we can't just walk up to them. Montage unfolds on display. Laptops, satellites, fiber octa cables, and diverse smelling workforce. Stock uh smiling, not smelling. A uh, stock voice narrates, Shield's commitment to sustainability is built into the business model and code of conduct. To protect our planet's ecosystem, Shield leverages informatics and machine learning to harness extraplanetary resources such as magnified solar energy and astral ore. Our priority is the safety of our workers and the integrity of wetlands and other natural habitats across the planet. Shield, a greener world awaits. Sure. All right, let's go to the freight elevator. Door of the crane platform is locked. We need to disable security to get through. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I guess we can go up here. Hello. Are we prepared for another confrontation? Slow down. Lucky couldn't tell you right now. Getting past these jo boys is no joke. These, this ain't contract bots. 
contract bosses like you see at the entrance. We've got to cause us a distraction. They don't keep much security on site at this hour. We make a ruckus, that might be enough to clear the area. That's Lucky's advice. A distraction? Unless you got some better idea? Lucky, you'll fight. But it won't take be no cakewalk. You just saved the whooping. Yeah, I don't want I don't want my ass whooped. Respectfully. Wanna be friends on Discord? Oh I see. Okay. So, our options. What are you? What about you? How, how are you thinking the party is going over at HQ? Saw inside one of the, the parties one time. Don't want to think about it. What was it like? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> oh? Freight elevator is locked. I think we already looked at that. Okay. So I think then... We're going to have to disable security somehow Let's go to the entrance oh guardhouse oh well that's easy a map of shield security zone a is displayed on the monitor well, that's less easy crane manual structure manual for their operation okay well, let's take that Shield railroad, railroad cranes can be operated from a safe distance using control panels at various points across the facility. Each crane is labeled with a unique identification number. To operate a crane, enter the prefix code 2914 followed by the crane ID. Okay, I need to write this down. Need to write this down. Okay. Crane operation prefix code two nine one four crane ID. I saw a seven year old on TikTok live as parents were. I swear I was crying. Oh no! Keep procrastinating sleep, but ah, for real. You should get some sleep. Go get some sleep. You're gonna feel better if you get some sleep. Center security monitor displays the Good Hope Cemetery, raised to tombs all surrounded on all sides by refinery architecture. Wanted poster hangs on the wall. Wanted, Drone Fleet Captain Sun A-19, commonly known as the Drone Priest, is missing and considered armed and dangerous. Contact Shield Community Dispatch if sighted. Do not approach. Interesting. Wait, I should... Drone Priest. Sun A-19 Drone Priest is... Wanted. Okay. Contact shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that everything in here? What's this one? Left security monitor displays the freight elevator. Right security monitor displays freight moving robot hanging limp from the crane. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? What's the crane ID? Do we know the crane ID? Yeah, party, party, party. Party, 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 party. Oh, is this the crane ID? I can't read that. Mm -hmm. Good night, chat. Have a good stream. Think see you in chess. All right, see you then. Have a good one, beans. Before I, my, I spend my frog food, what's timeout do? Timeout times you out for five minutes. Or a minute, I think. 
So you won't be able to chat for that long. <laughs> okay. Um, I am not sure what to do. Oh. Hello, security. We will leave. It just display no shows the display. That's no good. <laughs> good thing I didn't spend it. <laughs> okay. Oh, computer. Command line terminal sits open on the computer's desktop. Uh, disengage lock. Rate elevator disengage. Drone bay lock disengage. Well, that was easy. All right, let's go check out the freight elevator. Wires drift in the wind above the catwalk. Your eyes follow them upward to the light, large freight mover hanging from the railroad crate. Chat towards the machine to get its attention, but it remains un unresponsive. Million emits a high frequency whine. Silence follows. A voice swells from the sky as the mover begins to speak. You will dive into the water and the, and the depths will f become the surface. The breeze will change the shape of, of the flame and the flame will be as boundless as the territory that it lights. Hey buddy, keep it down. It ain't time to make a ruckus yet. You will find in the water not only flames but whole hurricanes. There will be a pattern of light that form the shape of old bayous where those who killed for freedom still hide. This is like a poem or something. Rattling cages on the tracks and whispering the pond. Perhaps the pond will whisper back. That ground, that, th that soils those bloody days. The lights of the lanterns become the very flame. Be straight with me. You're going to help us out or not? You will find the old boat pole where the ghost still hides their eyes. There are mall eyes and ditch eyes and bayou eyes. There are eagle eyes and duck eyes and cardinal eyes. There are John's eyes and there are your eyes. And your eyes are the refinery eyes. Guess I was wrong to think that, think, think this thing would be any help. What's that number that's on his chest? Oh, it's 016. Remember that, all right? It's identification number for the crane it's hanging on. That's how they do it from here. All right. 016 Crane number 016 Nice and easy Greatly timed I'd say <laughs> I'm feeling social. How was your day? My day was alright Uh, just work and stuff. I guess I didn't really do too much work today. I was just tired just recovering because I been doing a lot of work stuff lately, so Yeah Let's go find the controls. Drop this goofy bastard right on the cards. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Damn, that would be a hoot. Let's do that. <laughs> Lucky is right. This is a good idea. Uh, security status. Authenticated. Freight elevator lock. Disengage. Okay. Type in... Uh, engage lock? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Disengage. No, not that. Disengage lock. Wait. Okay, I see. Where? Wait, hold up. Where do we. I'm confused. What was, oh, the elevator is also locked. Oh, so it's, we can probably control it from the elevator. Aha, it's unlocked now. That's pretty. Good hopefully it may ain't burning too hot tonight. Some nights this thing gets bigger than anything you can imagine. Light up the whole, light the whole parish up. Think this thing controls that crane over there? That we could use it cause some trouble. All right, oh, no. All right, the command code is... Two nine one four zero one six. Manual code confirmed. Startup sequence initiated. 
Please enter a movement passcode. A what now? Uh, two. <laughs> movement path accepted. Hold up, where's that thing going? I believe that's determined by the movement code that you just entered. Punch in whatever came to find, but that ain't the direction I'd hoped. Seems to be sure seems to be slowing down. Surely it will stop before it reaches the flame. They wouldn't have a code that sends the damn thing straight into the gas flare. They do have the code. I guess two was not the right number. Oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my. That thing rambled a bit, but I wasn't trying to kill it. He set out to, to cause us distraction. This most certainly qualifies. Guess that's what happens when you talk to your old poetry to old Lucky. Let's hope the, uh, the explosion draw a few guards away from the headquarters. If this don't do it, then nothing will. Well, y'all hear something? Right. You you need to be in prison. You're wanted. Can anyone buddy tell me if this thing's hostile? They can't decommission me. They'll never decommission the priest, drone priest, baby. Drone priest is he gonna kill you. Gone, gone forever. This whole refinery is a damn clown show. Come, my little ones, let's dance. Alrighty then. Dude, 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 dude. Those damn things are taking the hit for him. Gotta fight smart. Ow! I'm terrible at their attacks. Ah! Okay, well, I did something. They just shot me. Cool, heavy drone is down. Let's get the light drone. Okay, light drone down. Ow. Dit, 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 dit. Okay. Uh, K is down. What in the good Lord's name? Freight mover, a uh, freight mover burns alongside the Good Hope way. Well, let's head down. Alert. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Look at it. No guards. Guess Lucky was right. Hello? Such splendid attire. You have chosen Vagaponds of the Highway as your guys? Fitting finery for this pageant of Epiphany of the and the Ashes. Beyond these doors, the masquerade of the refinery flame. In each likeness, a shadow in opposite is cast. That which is low shall rise. The swamps become mountains, the earth the a ceiling of the sky. A path is straight for the wayward. The thieves are gift givers, and the flame is provenance of the mind. Great. Uh, good to have breaks. This is true. This is true. I didn't know what to expect, but I sure as hell wasn't this. <laughs> Don't attract attention. Let's move along. <laughs> Bird, couple, balcony crowd, sun and minotaur. Sun and minotaur watch this crowd flow in and out of the lobby. Came to the one last year? When they lit the new tree on fire? Yeah, they said Thomas St. Clair shows up every year. He must be here tonight. There's no way to know with all the costumes. Is that why his daughter didn't show? She's probably up there in her office drinking alone. There's too much bad energy here. Saw online that there's a party in the lakes tonight. Might bail early, check it out. Keith smokes a cigarette while watching the pageant. Made it after all. Lot to take in, eh? How'd you get through? Uh, how did you get through? Call my buddy and who heads security around here. Told me to come on down. Why didn't you mention that bar? Slipped my mind. Been thinking about what to call my website since I left the bar. Finally settled on a name. You ready? Keith's Corner. How do you like that? The executives, the landlords, the so-called philanthropists, they'll be cornered in Keith's Corner. Want the website to look like a boxing ring. Want the logo to have boxing gloves in it. Might even do live streams. Pretty cool idea. 
<laughs> Alright, good for you, Keith. Broke the chain off my wallet, now I have a chain. Hell yeah. <laughs> there are many currents of deceit and mistrust coursing through the room tonight. Some wear masks to speak truthfully without fear of reprisal. Other wear others wear masks to further deceive. Laura St. Clair, the regional CEO, is unwell. That's why she doesn't join us tonight. She was once the darling of the pageant, but no more. Her power's slipping. She's at odds with her father on one side and the board on the other. Why is Laura at odds with the board? She has pursued mystical invisible device against every wish of the board, infiltrating the operations budget in order to siphon money towards her zealous mission. She believes that if she can secure this technology, the board will forgive her for her many transgressions. I'm in a position to know that she is mistaken. It's too late for her. A coup is already underway. It has only been taken this long because she, they hoped her spiraling madness would drive her to suicide. They fear the wrath of her father, with whom S.H.I.E.L.D. holds many profitable con contracts, but Laura's self-destruction may prove too costly in the end. Alright, have a good night, Sumi. Thank you so much. Oh, hug. Big hug. Big hug. Why is Laura at odds with her father? They seek the same thing, but for different reasons. There is a different technology of unknown origins that has made this region its home. Laura believes it holds the key to powering them, a mining fleet that can travel great distances for the purpose of gathering ore. It is her final bid to move S.H.I.E.L.D. away from Earth extraction. Her father, Thomas St. Clair, hopes to block his daughter's discovery of this elusive technology and to intercept it for his own designs. He is a man without a face. You will never see Thomas St. Clair, but his eyes are everywhere that he wishes them to be. They're, they are sev they're here tonight behind several of these masks, perhaps closer than you realize. So this is Thomas St. Clair right here. What's this technology they're talking about? A vessel of light that has remained hidden in the lakes for de decades? A visitor from a distant star? A hoax? An angel? A military weapon? A drone? Distortion created by gassing, uh, gases combusting in the swamp? No one has been able to capture the specimen or even verify its existence. Laura became more irate with each proposed theory. She grows darker by the day, and the device escapes her reach at every turn. Interesting. An improvised dance performance plays across the stage. <coughs> the dancers periodically pause in their motion and eye the crowd with an exaggerated look of distrust. One is dressed in a maroon robe, the other in a feathered cape. Uh, approach the stage. You make your way towards the stage. Uh, mimic the dance. Begin to mirror the unnatural contortions of the performers as they crab walk across the stage. Other spectators dodge you or give you a s start as you graze the back of their legs. The onstage performers notice your mi mimicry. They stop their movement with a severe look of disapproval. You stop as well and meet their expression. One of the performer raises his hand to you. The shadow! You raise your hand in kind. The tryhard! Dad? <laughs> <laughs> My child! He leaps from the stage and holds his arm out, inviting a embrace. If you touch me, I'll see. Hug. Give the performer a full embrace as he lets out a theatrical cry of relief. He turns to the audience that has gathered around. My child has traveled from a distance, a distant place to join us tonight. She has watched the deserts burn. She has no face, no smile, no nose, no eyes. They graced her once upon a time, but somewhere along I-40 she left them behind. Just like the alligator, she thought she could hide, but the alligator's home has eroded. The bayous are gone. The man who walked the alligator like a dog still died alone, and my child, born to travel, won't seek in this quagmire for long. She'd sooner die herself than that. Die in a war or in a rocket, perhaps. He looks at you and silently whispers, She'd sooner die anywhere else than stay here at home. Well, the Feathered Cape knows us. And called us the fuck out. Your mom saw something in the lake. What is it? A vessel of light that has remained hidden in the lake for decades, or a visitor from a distant star, or a hoax, or an angel, or a drone, or distortion created by gases combusting, or something else. Laura St. Clair wants it. Wanted to find... The, the entity. S.H.I.E.L.D. is pivoting towards off-world mineral extraction, and Laura believes it holds the key to advanced space travel. She hoped that if she captured the specimen and offered it to the S.H.I.E.L.D.'s regional board of directors, they'd forgi they would forgive her for her many transgressions. Thomas wants it, because he wants to find the specimen. Thomas St. Clair searching for something. Competition with his daughter, he searches for the elusive technology. You believe the same as your mom witnessed in the lake before her death? Uh, that's it. 
Uh, nope, I don't want to talk about Lucky. Laura Sinclair is searching for something. Lists of technology. You believe it's the same entity that your mom witnessed in the lake before her death. Okay. I was curious if that would open up any more avenues, but it did not. Man wearing a golden crown gesticulates drunkenly while those around him back away in embarrassment or attempt to calm him. <laughs> History is crude by the sympathetic, the soft-hearted. No! Why, bend to the will of the weak, huh? Huh? Jesus Christ, dude. Why punish those who carry passion and virtue in their hearts? Power is the very essence of life. Power! Not compassion or goodwill or any stuff like that. That's great, Bruce. Garrett! I'm a Garrett now! How many times do I have to say it? I'm not calling you by your cult name. It's not a cult! Definitely is. It's a place for visionaries to thrive, and tonight, we'll leave this world. Yeah, I saw Ken or John bragging about that online. Godspeed. That toy rocket's gonna explode before it leaves the ground. The engineering is sound. I'm helping to launch it. You're blitzed. You can't even walk in a straight line. Keep it up. You can only hide your jealousy for so long. Think I'm jealous that you joined a cult? Not that. No, you know what I'm talking about. The CEO chose me as assistant director. You wanted it. You wanted it so bad. But I still possess the confidence to leave it behind. To take a leap of faith. Bruce, we all know you got daddy issues. Why don't you go hug your little stuffed monkey and cry about it? Weak-minded reject. You're too pathetic to understand. Excuse me? You're only humiliating yourself. I wonder... I realized what when we went to this party that I didn't go back and get that recording. If I got that recording, I wonder if that interaction would have been different. Garrett. What's a Garrett? What's a Garrett? Oh, that's the one of the last missing pieces. This is the last one. No. Okay. To the elevator. This is the elevator protected by a retinal authenticator. The executive offices are, below, are above. That's likely where your mother's possessions are being held. Awesome. So we gotta get someone's eyes. Tonight, we search the stars for God's signal. Alright, man. That's enough of your nonsense for one night, Bruce. You're drunk. Let's go find somewhere to lay you down. Well, that was awful. Ever since he became Laura St. Clair's assistant, he's been like this, callous, arrogant, rude. Now he's got into all this crap at the mall? I've had enough. Blame his dad. He's always been so cold to Bruce, feeding his insecurities. Like father, like son. If that man had said just one nice thing to him, I bet he wouldn't be trying to launch himself into space. He's drawing out by the elevator. Let's see if he apologizes when he comes to. Alright, well, yeah, I think I definitely fucked up that interaction. <laughs> Was this the individual causing a scene in the ballroom? <laughs> They're all so damn <gasps> jealous, aren't they? They want my position, petty bastards. They want what I have, a view from the inside. A view of the, 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 the river, of the lights. Well, screw them. Screw them. Screw them. Screw them. Screw them. Grab them. If he's an assistant to Laura Sinclair, then you would have access to the ex executive's suite. Grab his arms. Put the drunken king's arms over your shoulder and hoist him up. Bruce has joined the party. Elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You drag the slouching king towards the retinal scanner. Ugh, fucking what? LED sensor passes over his eye before you drop him on the ground. All right. Have a good rest, sir. Let's go up. <laughs> uh oh, dramatic music. Hello. Um Do not rifle my things. Okay. Regional Shield CEO Regional Shield CEO stares at the expanse of the refinery below the office window. I felt you here. 
before I even saw you on the monitor. You're silent, just like Catherine. I look over, out over the town and imagine what she might be. Never anywhere, just silent. Things have been feeling vague, haven't they? Those highways are, you're always on. They don't. You don't sleep. You don't feel. Not anything. Vague. Nothing. Nowhere. I don't sleep either. When I sit up in my bed and open my eyes, I see things on the wall. They pantomime. They beg. But I don't turn away. There's a time I would, but I've lost the energy. Now I watch. I'm not here tonight for the party. I've kept my distance from the others. If they vote me out, it will upset my father. So they'd rather I'd resign or die. I stay here. Right here. You can see the river here. And the flame. I thought it would be me that the light would come to see. Of course it was Catherine. But the flame is still mine. It still burns for me. I've done so much that is wrong. Held out for so long. Just to stay near it. But I've lost my hold. The vagueness. The shadows. The board ha has had it. Box on the shelf. That's what you came for. So take it. By all rights, it's yours. I thought I found what I needed. But it was my mistake. Catherine was smarter than me. Or more stubborn. I don't want the others to have it when after I'm gone. Not my father, not the board. I wanted to experience the light, wanted to touch it, but I can't stay around any longer. That's all. Go find your brother. No. Please take the box and leave. I have other matters to attend to. I am concerned for your... Do not rifle... This is a sequence of locations, each entry is time stamped. It is you infer a description of your movements through the premises. Is there anything I can do? Various in internal literature, operational documentation, engineering reports, soil quality surveys, human resource handbooks. A binder no different in the appearance of the rest of the sits collection. On the viability of operating a server supercluster on at the Shield Norco refining facility. While the Mississippi River provides a natural cooling source, the Norco location is determined to be too precarious for a full supercluster build-out. Hurricanes, coastal erosion, unreliable state management, and the location's proximity to nuclear facilities could result in cascading disaster events that would jeopardize critical network infrastructure. It would better serve as a support node for the proposed Gulf Coast Astral Eyes distributed regional system. Here's the box. Storage box sits on the shelf. I don't know. You find within the box miscellaneous artifacts of your mom's life. Medical bills from Oshner Hospital. Books on the range of environmental topics. A dimes discount rewards card and other ephemera. Is there any way I can convince you to not make the, do the thing you're about to do? That's the regional CEO at the window. What do you got, Kay? Is there something we can do? Dog. Dog's not helpful. Alright. Well. You can have my discount card. Send them to find what they could. They bring back trash that fell out of Catherine's pocket. You can already hear the laughter of the board. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen from that. Um, please? Uh, I don't know if there's a way we can stop this. Owen Kay, don't trust her. Yep. We must go now. Yeah, we better go fast. That's where we where I get off. I suppose they'll lo be looking for all of us once that body woman's body is discovered. Lucky's advice: keep a low profile. Come along, Potts. We have what we came for: a box of Catherine's possessions. Though it, its contents leave me more perplexed than before we arrived. Most of what's contained was trash: scraps of paper, scribbled notes. The only thing of interest was the dimes discount coupon card. Did your mother's did your mother visit the gas station before she died? Why would Shield think to grab it? This puts us no closer to finding Blake. <sighs> Just a reminder. You're all Yeah. You're all treasured. I don't know. I don't know words. <laughs> 
just... <laughs> just stick around. That's the main thing. Alright, dimes discount it is. I guess we'll go inside. <laughs> I'm sorry, the card to swipe is not an American... Valid American Discount Southeast Incorporated coupon card. Not valid, the card is a forgery. A fluid of thoughts swirl within the robot's head. She always kept her hid secrets hidden in plain sight. We must search the house, there's more to find there. Why would... Catherine carry around a counterfeit coupon card. There must be some explanation. She was very secretive. We may find some clue hiding around the house. Interesting. What are mom holding Blake as a baby at the beach in Pensacola? It's winter. You stand beside them bundled up and laughing as the gust of wind rakes the beach. The sky is bone dry. Mail? Letter from Shield Oil sits atop the stack of mail. Yes? Laura St. Clair had a box of my mom's things. Why would my mom have a forged coupon card? It's rather odd collection. There was a coupon card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just discarded trash. Any of my... <laughs> Let's check the laptop. Oh no, I just realized. Okay. okay quick job, full of lunatics. Way to get coat. Did Blake join Quack Job? Oh, god damn it. God damn it, Blake. Well, I have a guess where Blake is, but I don't think my character would know, so. We have a pry bar now. I don't know why I didn't grab that sooner. <laughs> but we have a pry bar. Oh, the secret door! That's right! Let's try. Okay, pry bar. Okay, well it's not, the coupon code's not it. Maybe there's some other lock somewhere else in the house. This game is fucking weird. <laughs> Unfolded laundry, photo album. Well, I've searched the house. Oh, TV? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't seem very helpful. I guess we can go to the backyard. Is there anything back here? I'm a little stuck. They said investigate the house. Is there anything else to interact with up here? Okay, I guess not. Hmm. Let's use the card. The microwave. Pry bar. Oh, 
card on the TV. Was. <laughs> okay. Anything out here? Cat? Neighborhood strays. Statue of Virgin Mary's mm, crawl space. Oh! Observe the weather concrete and flaking pick of paint of the statue. Face is especially deteriorated from the ring system of cracks. You run your hand along the deteriorating contours of the statue. Snaps off as if by design. Behind the statue's face hides an odd assemblage of electronics carelessly soldered together. The center of the electronics configuration is what appears to be a card reader. Well, have we got the thing for that? You insert the coupon card into Mary's face. From within the house, you hear a vague clop of something mechanical. And that's how we got the security door open. Right? Gotta be that. Yep. Off we go. Data laptop is keyboard covered in grime. Center of the table sits cheap plastic electronic device. One USB cord runs from the instrument to the uh, the computer tower. The other runs the laptop. Custom built processor. I guess signal jammer. A wireless signal jammer. What would Catherine need with such a device? I don't know. Map of Long Pound char, char Train hangs on the wall, decorated with several with various illegible notes and penciled routes th through the network of bayous. Work light hangs two small hooks driven into the wall. The ex its extension cord runs in the makeshift dust work of the closet. Okay. Power on the processor. As if the machine breathes to life, small LED lights begin to flicker and uh, begin to flicker in the face of the oblong plastic device on this desk. A USB cord runs from the device to the laptop. Computer's terminal is quickly obscured by pop-ups and advertising mal malware scanners and other products. An indecipherable static blossoms from the speakers. In distorted bursts, the noise noise begins to cohere into a cracked simulation of your mother's voice. Complete. Extracting. 40 zip dot zip 3.54 mips per second driver update required no wi-fi connection detected what is enumerating alphabetical index k please is this child age 23 for your cognitive versioning needs choose greater new orleans neural versioning clinic dear god driver update required enumerating alphabetical index array member deleted what is that no no please no if you can hear, can you hear me? Please, away from that robot, please. Please, get away. Oh, God. Million, no! Million! Oh no! <laughs> All right, well, to the mall, to the mall, through John's skull, through John's skull. The Garrets have been instructed to protect the sacred messenger, but they are foolish and easily outwitted. Their greatest weakness is their treachery. All you can must do is catch them fibbing, lying, and going against the will of John, the idolater. And then what? Show them for the hippo. Hip hypocrites they are so the seeds of disloyalty this is this will present an opportunity for you to gain what you seek i see got any kinds of recording app on that phone of yours catherine if we're gonna try to play these people against one another might help good point i'll install one christ himself was a man of great cunning we'll be to the garrets presently okay now i've got the recording app was there some other way i was supposed to know about that can i go back <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave. 
<laughs> the person literally was just like, do you have record? Do you have a way to record this? I will literally say this to any recording device, and I was like, I don't know. And then, then freaking, they just like, oh, you you should probably Dallas is just like, you should probably download a recording app, and we're like, okay. All right, let's go get. Wait, no, 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 we don't need to drive anywhere. What am I doing? We don't need to drive anywhere. We could just go over here. Subdivision. Hi, um, real quick. Watch right at the garage. It's fine, we're pals. <laughs> you again? You talked to Bruce yet? No, not yet. I was hoping you could repeat what you said. Try to make me blush. Record it if you are having trouble remembering. And hang on it. I said, Bruce, you're my boy. This here is your home. I... Let me record. I want to record it. Help. Voice memo allows the user to record dialogue spoken by others. First, hover over the piece of dialogue that you want to record. An icon will appear beneath that dialogue. Click this icon to record. If the dialogue is di icon is green, dialogue has already been recorded. Oh, okay. Just testing it. Record it. Oh, there we go. Ah, that's how that works. Wait. No, I recorded the wrong thing. <laughs> That's what I need to record. Not this. Alright, well, I guess we recorded that anyways. Sure. <laughs> Just go, go up to it and be like, record it! Wait, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um... All right, well, I think we're gonna call it right here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by uh, and, you know, hanging out while we play Norco. This game's really cool. It's really interesting. Um, I think the next, next time we play, I think we're going to beat this game. So that'll be cool. Um, <laughs> I think there's only, it looked like from the main menu, there were only two more sections left in it uh let's see chapter select let's see oh three more sections hmm yeah no i don't think we're gonna be able to beat it tonight i i think i'm gonna get too tired but yeah thank you guys so much for stopping on by uh yeah i'm gonna end stream here Thank you all so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And if you would like to, I don't know, if you would like to, you should join the Discord. It's a good time. Good place. It's a fun place. I don't know why the end stream. Why are you struggling? Nothing is working today. <laughs> uh, we're not going to raid anyone because we only have two viewers right now. But you two viewers are very much appreciated. And let's see. Is that working? There we go. Thank you for the subscription, Toasties Alive. Thank you, Florence Stories, Default Chosen, and uh, Sumi, Sumi, my love, <laughs> for following since last stream. I appreciate you all so very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the, your night. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.